Welcome back. In this exercise, we're going to learn how we can set up our platform. First, we're going to start up an instance of Liferay DXP and prepare that instance to be used as the Livingston platform. Here are the steps we're going to follow. First, we're going to create a Liferay directory for the Liferay bundle. Then we're going to start the Liferay Tomcat bundle. We'll deploy the Liferay DXP activation key and then fill out the Liferay setup wizard that we're automatically brought to. Once we're all done with that, you can explore the Liferay DXP UI. You can find out all the different functionality that you have through the menu on the left. And you can also try to add your own site to the platform, naming it Livingston Test, and try to navigate between it and the default site. I have my activation key here on my desktop in a folder. And I have also created this folder structure, going from local disk to Liferay to bundles. It's very important that you unzip your bundle here because Windows has some specifications about how long a path name can be. Doing this will make sure that everything works for us. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to unzip this bundle. We're going to use a third party tool for this. A default Windows extraction will not complete the process correctly. 7-zip or WinZip are great. I'll tell it to extract here. And then we can go ahead and we can click into our bundle. To start Liferay, we're going to head to our Tomcat folder and we're going to navigate to the bin directory. Scroll down until you find the startup.bat file. And when we click on this, we'll see a Tomcat window pop up. If this window doesn't show up, it's usually because your JDK is not installed or you haven't set that Java home environment variable. This is going to take a little bit, so I'll go ahead and speed the video up. The whole process can take a couple minutes, but as soon as it's done, it'll launch your default browser and we'll get this basic configuration page. Here we'll edit our portal name. So for our use case, we're just going to use the Livingston Hotels and Resorts, use English, coordinated universal time, and then we'll set up our admin. His first name is Josiah and his last name is Copeland. And when we're all done, we'll click finish configuration. Since I'm installing DXP for the first time, I require an activation key, and that's what this page here is prompting us for. If you're installing CE, there's no activation key necessary. I'm going to navigate back over to my bundle, and I'll head to the deploy folder. Now I'll go over to my activation key. I'm going to copy it. You see shortly after I paste it into the deploy folder, it disappears. And you'll notice that a new line in our Tomcat window informs us that we are now registered. I'll go back over to my browser and I'll reload the page. And now we are viewing our portal in localhost 8080 with the new name that we've given it. We have our admin user set up, so we'll sign in as him. The default password, since we haven't set anything yet, is just test all lowercase. We have our terms of use placeholder, which you can agree to. And now we can set our real password. I actually really like test, but you should probably do something a little more robust than me. We'll click save. And then for our password reminder question, I have what is your father's middle name? Uh, believe it or not, it was actually also test uh, lowercase. And just like that, we now have our administrator view as we are signed in to Josiah Copeland. I can come on up here to the menu and I can begin customizing my portal.